We have six new iPad features, making it more like a Mac. Let's talk about it. Welcome back to the channel. So no more than five minutes ago, I just got done watching WWDC 2025 from Apple, and they have a whole bunch of new changes coming out, especially for obviously Mac OS, iPad OS, iOS, Vision OS, a whole bunch of different stuff. But in this video, there are six specific things right here that I think are gonna make the iPad much more powerful. And since I'm more of a Mac channel, I wanna focus on what are the six different changes to the iPad or iPad OS that's gonna make this thing over here more like a Mac. And these are some changes that should've came a long time ago, but they're finally here. Okay, now this is not one of the six, but you're gonna notice a couple things. First of all, they changed the name of iOS, Mac OS, Vision OS to 26, that's the number. But not only that, they're gonna be doing some design changes as well. They actually call it liquid glass right now, and I'll show you some examples. You can really customize this. It's gonna have like a translucent kind of a feel of it. You know, you can actually see through some of the menus and stuff like that. It's gonna have rounded corners. But overall, this is not one of the six, but it's, you know, obviously a pretty big change with iPad OS over here as well, but Mac OS, and you're gonna see this change and it's gonna be universal through everything, including that number 26. The next one will be number 27, number 28, and so on. Just to note that because that's a pretty big change in itself. Okay, so now I'm gonna talk about the six primary features built into iPad OS that make it more like a Mac. Starting with number one, this is a big one, multitasking, and this is huge, right? So we finally got a new kind of what you wanna call a window, windowing system on an iPad, which is huge. So for starters, they actually built in, well, first of all, you know, just like it was before, if you actually click on an app, you open it up, it'll go full screen, you can swipe it home, and then you can go ahead and open it again, it's gonna go full screen. But now it actually has something in the lower right-hand corner called a grab handle, and you can go ahead and resize the app that way and reposition it anywhere on the screen and actually then let go, and it's gonna stay there, and it could be anywhere on the screen at any different size. That's cool. Then if you close that app and you reopen it later, it's gonna open up to the exact same position and the exact same size on the screen. And it's gonna have a whole bunch of other features where you can kind of go ahead and window all your apps on top of each other. And there's some gestures that they built in as well to help you kind of swipe, swipe them away and only leave the top one up. Either way, it's a brand new windowing system that's very similar to the Mac over here. It's a simple change, simple addition, but it's huge for the Mac, for the, for the iPad, I'm sorry, that actually works like the Mac. I get them mixed up because they're so similar now. Okay, so out of the six different changes, what's the second one I wanna talk about today? One of the huge changes to iPad OS over here, we finally have a menu bar on the iPad. That's pretty amazing, right? So basically, if you move your pointer to the top of the screen, you're gonna get basically a Mac OS menu bar up there. You're very familiar with it, right? So you're gonna see that it's got like the file, the edit, the format, and so on, all the way across the top there. It's gonna show the app name in the upper left-hand corner. So you can actually use your apps just like you would on Mac OS with the file menu drop down. You can edit and copy. You can do all of that stuff with the built-in menu. Now, in the actual WWDC presentation, they spent like 20 seconds on this. That's all they just, they just explained it really quickly. It's just kind of like a Mac, menu bar, right? But that's all I need to know. That's a huge change. It's going to make the iPad so much easier to use. What do you guys think in the comments? That could possibly be the biggest change in how we're going to use the iPads. What do you think? All right, number three out of the six, and this is going to be a very small change, but super important. Do you remember the little circle when you actually moved like a mouse around or something? Let's say you had your iPad and you moved it to a monitor or however you wanted to do it, but you had like a little circle for your pointer. They're actually changing that. They've actually brought back, or not brought back, but they, they made it the same pointer as on your Mac. It's basically an actual pointer. So now you can get more precise, precise movement of the pointer. You can actually grab menu bars a lot easier than having that big circle. Remember that circle, how clumsy it was. Well, now it's actually gone and you actually have a pointer just like you would on a normal computer. Tell me in the comments, do you like this idea? I don't think of one person that liked that little circle you'd have to move around, but now it's actually that pointer. All right, we're up to number four now. That's actually some of the big changes built into iPadOS. And what is this? We actually have now new buttons on the apps and tiling. Let me explain. So when you actually open up an app and you go in the upper left-hand corner, you're gonna see very familiar buttons up there. See the red, green, and yellow buttons up there? It's just like Mac Windows, right? You can minimize, you can maximize, you can close the windows. That's all brand new, all right? So obviously that, that again, they're making it look like the windows built into a Mac, that's huge. And then number two actually, you can go ahead and tile by basically taking an app and flicking it to either the left or the right, it'll actually tile it to the left or the right side for you. So you can go ahead and easily tile your apps. And then if you go ahead, just like a Mac OS, 
in the iPad OS for coming up, iPad OS 26, if you actually go ahead and click on a, you know, click on those buttons, or not click on them, but hover over them, it's gonna bring down a menu, and it gives you a whole bunch of more tiling options, just like it does on the Mac up there as well. So the, you know, kind of, kind of the sky's the limit now with tiling as well. And this is a massive change. So this combined, obviously, with those buttons is big, and I think this is gonna be a big change for people just wanting to kind of navigate all of their applications and stuff, minimize, maximizing, and actually tiling to the sides. It makes it so much easier, again, a big change. Change. Okay, so what's the fifth change here that's going to be big for iPadOS? This is actually going to have to do with basically files and folders. So file, there's some files and folders changes which are huge here. So first of all, there's going to be a new, what they call a new list view here for your files. You can see, I'll show you a quick picture of it. It's completely redesigned, making your files and folders easier to find. That's number one. That's a big change, right? But that's not really what I'm excited about. The second thing is going to be you can customize your folders. You can change the colors easily on it now. Mac makes it, or not Mac, but iPad OS makes it super easy. You can change the colors of the folders and you can actually introduce icons on top of the folders very easily. Now I showed you how to do that with Mac OS, you know, in a different way, but now it's getting built in to iPad OS and also the Mac OS 2 26 coming up. So they're both going to have it, but different color folders and put icons in the folders. That's key as well. All right, two more things with files and folders as well. You can actually now designate if on each individual file, you can kind of say which app you want, you know, what which app you want to use to open up that file type. And then you can go ahead and have anytime you open up a file of that type, it'll use the specific app that you assigned to it. That wasn't actually included before, but now it is. So that's a big change. The next change here too is you can actually now drag your, you know, any type of folder into your menu bar or your dock. I'm sorry, not your menu bar, your dock at the bottom, just like you can on Mac OS. And then you can go ahead and click on that and then it'll show all of the different files in there and you can go ahead and open them that way as well. So now you can drag each of those individual basically folders right into the dock and it should works just like Mac OS. It's actually a game changer for me. So I'm going to start using the iPad more here. Okay, so what is the sixth big change here to iPad OS? This is a big one as well. A lot of people didn't even know this didn't exist. Right now, it's got a basically a brand new preview app built into it. And this is going to be huge. Just like Mac OS, it's got a preview app. And what this allows you to do is it's a dedicated app so you can view and edit your PDFs. You can also use Apple Pencil now, Apple Pencil Markup, and you can also use Autofill. So it allows you to open up files in preview, and then you can go ahead and mark up stuff just like on PDFs and stuff, just like you can on the Mac. This is all coming. A lot of people didn't know that it didn't exist, but this is going to be new for iPad 26. It's a big change here. And then also with this app, you can edit images in here as well, and then you can go ahead and export in different formats or in different sizes. So you can actually lower the size of it or change the format of the picture or the file all in real time. So again, a big change for this. It's gonna be a brand new preview app. I love it. Keep bringing me more Mac-like stuff. This is what you want at the end of the day. And the great part is this is gonna work perfect with an external display, it says, or stage manager. So all this is gonna be integrated into the iPad OS, and we're starting to see kind of the collaboration of both of these. And eventually, you know, maybe they'll actually put Mac OS on this thing over here. Now, I know a lot of people that are purists of the iPad may not like that, but for a lot of the Mac lovers, I think there's a, I mean, at least there's a good way to get them married and actually have a lot of the features of both of them working together. And we're slowly getting you know, moving in that direction as we are, as I'm showing you today. So maybe even next year, it's going to even be more like this. And every year we're going to get closer and closer. Okay, we're going to wrap up the video. There were some other things they mentioned in iPad OS as well. They said that it's now able to run background tasks. So if you're doing like an export and you bring up another app, it can export the video in the background because of the power of the chip. It's now possible to do that. There was like local audio and video capture changes as well. You can actually do very high-end uh, audio capture, which is going to be great through your ear, you know, through ear pods and stuff like their AirPods. So that's actually another big feature. There's going to be what is this audio input selection and more. So there's a whole bunch of other little features, but I thought those six were huge here. And like I said, it's going to be the marriage of Mac OS and iPad OS. That get, and it really gets me excited because then I'll be able to pick one device up knowing that I have all the features I need on it, whether I need something that's portable and light or whether I want to work from home. So this is actually a huge change for me. Let me know what you guys think. I just made this video really quickly, obviously, because I just watched it. I wanted to get it out instantaneous, but obviously, you know, so it's not going to be perfect, but I, I just wanted to get your initial feedback on everything here and see how you feel about this. I think it's one of the biggest changes to iPad OS and I'm more excited about this one than any of the ones in the past. You guys tell me in the comments. We will talk to you soon in the next one. Peace.